the formidable robot. Disappearances. They just didn't make any sense. One user was abducted from a mega server, another was abducted from their own VIP server. This was madness. Every time someone's Roblox user would go missing, their real life body would turn up dead. No obvious cause of dying, no marks. I investigated into this and summarized some bullet points for investigation. It always happens when there are at least two players in a game. It happens at the minimum, two minutes after the murderer joins for the victim to be killed. Bodies are always left and marked anywhere. Just death. This can happen with any player count. The user responsible has at least 6 to 12 characters in their name. I've been at one of the abductions when it happened. I don't remember seeing anyone suspicious, yet the chat was blowing up so I couldn't really read anything. It was about 35 players in there, with a mad chat. I only remember after the kidnapping. Someone recorded the killing, which I was in the server at the time. It was a popular YouTuber, and they didn't even realize it was showing footage of the killings until somebody pointed it out about two months later. The victim in question was a boy named Jacob, who had died between 1 a.m. and 8 a.m. A large investigation was done into the killings, yet nobody seemed to find any lead about it. There was this man convicted of it, but they later realized that the parents had fabricated evidence to get this monster in jail, when he was innocent. People every day prayed that they would find the missing child or children, but it never happened. Only recently have people realized that it's all interconnected. It was sad at first, but I quickly learned those viewpoints. I had conducted a big investigation, yet it turned up no leads. And do you know why? It was my own incompetence, my inability to find the things that connected it. I instead prayed not for them to find the man responsible, because he was me, 